I'd rather be your mm, 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 mm. Cause that's what you gon' call me when I'm tripping anyway. <laughs> Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this reading for the Queen Megan the Stallion. If you like this reading, please remember to hit a lovely thumbs up. If you haven't already and you enjoy spiritual and psychic content, then please do subscribe to join our lovely community because I upload videos like this every single week. If you want to see more spiritual and psychic content, then you can head over to my Instagram and follow me at I am Kirsty Lewis. And if you'd like your own personal and private reading with me, you can just email me for more info at kirstylewisreadings at outlook.com. But let's get into reading for Queen Meghan. Okay, I am purposely calling her Queen because she deserves the crown. <laughs> I really like Meghan Thee Stallion. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know like a ton about her and I've only really known Savage. Um, <laughs> and I know that from TikTok, but um, tapping into her energy and listening to her music, she's super, super, super talented and she's got a really lovely energy as well. So it's so sad that this has ha recently happened to her. But I, one thing I can tell you I see for Megan is a very long lasting career. So um, there is positivity coming for her. One of the visions that Spirit showed me as I connected with Megan and I don't know if this is going to be like a groundbreaking thing, but they showed me her on the stage of the Grammys with a Grammy in her hand. And she's wearing like a long, it, I think it's like a silver or gold dress. And she does a speech. And I feel like maybe this speech she does, I don't know, they're obviously showing me this for a reason. Um, so I'm predicting that she's going to win a Grammy. And I'm predicting that the speech she does will kind of go viral sort of thing. Um... Yeah, Megan feels like a very, very independent person. I know she sadly lost both of her parents, um, so she's had to be, you know. It's no surprise that when I connect with her energy now, she feels weary, she feels on edge, and she feels guarded. I had to give Megan the Stallion the tiger's eye because, quite honestly, she needs protection right now. Um, when, you're the, when you're the next big thing and you're the next big thing coming up, you must protect yourself. So, Megan, if you do come across this reading by any chance, please uh, protect yourself spiritually, physically, get more security because um, it's sad to say, but there will be people that want to drag her down. Um, um, Tory Lanes, dare we even mention his name? He doesn't even deserve to be graced, but um, he was one of them. Um, I'm very empathically connected to her. Um, uh, she feels very emotional right now. The thing is, Megan doesn't really have anyone around her to lean on, and so I feel the emotion's very, very deep inside because she feels like she can't show her emotion because she's got no one to be vulnerable with. It's quite sad, actually. Um, I almost want to cry because I can feel her tears. There's been a lot of tears, obviously. Because she's quite a nice person. I know, you know, as a, as a rapper, you know, female or male, you would cut, you come across with this, you know ego sort of thing but as a person she's actually a very kind soul and she's very loyal and she's very um, dependable you know if you're Megan's friend she's got you she's very very loyal and what's hurt her is that she's realized through this is that she doesn't have that same loyalty from people around her that she thought she had and it's at this time the most I almost want to cry so it's really quite sad because it's at, at, at this time the most that she uh, not so much her dad, I don't know what her relationship was with her dad, but her mum. She's really, really missing her mother. And I've, I'm going to cry. It feels so sad, you know. Um, she's only young as well, you know. Um, and when things like this happen, if you're lucky enough to be brought up by your mother, this is when you really need her. Um, whew, um, all I can say is when I connect to that evening is that Tory Lanez has got a very abusive, toxic energy. And what I feel happened, and I will pull the cards, but sorry, I'm just empathically connected to her. What I feel happened was they weren't a, a couple, um, but they were very flirtatious with each other. And he was maybe giving her signals and she was also giving him signals. They liked each other. She liked him. And he was continuously making sexist, um, derogatory comments about women. And I feel like he 
was making comments, I feel like what sparked the argument between them, not that that justifies anything because it doesn't, I'm just digging into what happened. I feel like he made a comment like, well, female rappers or females can't be successful or, f and he kept saying it, he kept saying it. And he also kept saying things like, I, I will never commit to one woman, you know, you know, just being really disgusting about women, being really disgusting about women. And I feel Megan, Megan's very, um, she will stand up for something when she knows it's wrong. And so she s said, excuse me, like, you know, and she put her two pence in. And then obviously as things happen in an argument, they escalated. She put her two cents in, he came back, you know, and it built and built and built and built and built. And what I feel happened was, cause it was her in the car, him in the car, the security and her friend. Um, she said, come on, what's her friend's name? I don't know. She said, come on to the girl, we're going. I don't know how the car stopped. Ah. They stopped. The security must have been driving. They stopped and pulled over because things were getting quite heated. And Megan said to the girl, come on, we're going. The girl didn't get out of the car. What the heck? So obviously now Megan's lost someone who she believed to be a very good friend of hers. And then he shot her. It's so vile, like it's so disgusting and I want to focus on Megan and her future because I, you know, I know you want to know what's happened but I feel like that's, that, that's the, the brunt of it, okay? I, I can't pick up on whether Toy is going to be charged for this or anything like that. I feel like he might be but I don't feel like it's going to be a harsh sentence, it will be something like community service or something like that. Megan really wants to move on from this. Um, and as I said, there is a bright future ahead for her. She's got a long spanning career. Um, and so I really want to read on that. So I'm just going to pull on some cards for, you know, her energy, what we can expect from Megan in the future. I also see a, um, I see a relationship for Megan, like a public relationship. Okay, they're going to sell it. They're going to sell it. Nope. Yeah, I did pick up on that. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Because uh, we need to send her some love and love. They're going to sell it. Okay, yeah. I feel very, very teary. Very, very teary. I've never actually had this in a reading where I can almost feel how she's bottling up her energy. Um, but I feel very, very teary with her. Megan Thee Stallion. And she feels so alone and it's so sad. You know, it's so, so sad. Okay. There's a brand deal coming for her as well. Um, she's got a brand deal coming with like uh, a sports label, I feel. I feel it's sports. Or beauty maybe, or both. One thing about Megan is you cannot hold her down. What's really funny is the Nine of Wands in um, the original Raider Waite tarot deck depicts a man who is injured and he's got like a bandage around him but he's still working and that is so reflective of the situation. The Nine of Wands talks about being resourceful, okay? Um, you're not going to stop her basically and that's her energy she's like I don't care I might be emotional I might be hurt I might be down you might have like knocked me I don't care you're not going to keep me down you're not going to hold me down and the reason that that's on the bottom and the nine of the knight of cups sorry is on the top the knight of cups is about imagination drive moving forward with your passions being creative she is going to keep going I feel like she may even be working on a new album at the moment and is going to use this She's going to use this as a resource to fuel the next album. She's a very smart girl. She's very smart. She's very intelligent. She's an Aquarius. And Aquarius is a very intellectual and she also is. I feel like Megan Thee Stallion is someone who 
um, is actually very smart. And I don't mean, um, I mean book smart. You know, she is probably someone who's very into philosophy, someone who's very spiritual, someone who's very um, with wise. Um, I feel like she might not depict it or show it outwardly, but inwardly she's knowing. And that's confirmed here by the moon. Um, the, the, nine, the Nine of Wands talks about carrying on despite the hurt. So that's very interesting, isn't it? That talks about carrying on despite the pain that you're going through. It's about having grit and determination to keep going. She's, this is her now. She's like, right, okay, well, I'm going to show you. Yeah, and she's going to, because like I said, there's a long, successful career for Megan Thee Stallion. Not just the music, I feel also they keep drawing me to film. So I feel like there's a successful, maybe fashion, I feel like a Cardi B energy, but but more. Um, she's going to, um, what's the word, a, a surpass Cardi. Where Cardi thinks she's, no, 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 Megan's going to surpass her. Um... The Eight of Wands talks about fast movement, so things are going to pick up very, very quickly for her, but I feel like they did anyway. I feel like her career picked up very fast. Um, I feel like she'd been working for a little bit and then it just all happened overnight. Um, and I feel like that's going to continue, that energy is going to continue. Um, there is this man they keep bringing in for her, this man, this older man. Uh, is he older? He feels a little bit older. I feel like maybe that's where the sports is coming in, maybe he's a sports player. There's a relationship coming from Megan Thee Stallion. This man feels very, very lovely. I must say he he feels very, very loving. Um, and I feel like when they first get together, people will be very sceptical, very judgmental, very like, mm, really, Megan? Like, uh, is this the man you want to... No, he's going to very, very much dote on her. And they're going to have a very loving relationship. I see a child for Megan with this man, maybe even two or three children. This is going to happen quite quickly. They're drawing me to her ring finger. This is within the next three to four years. This is, a, this is exactly what she needs. She needs someone she can depend on and this man's going to be that for her. So look out for that. The Four of Cups and the Page of Wands. This is a change in career direction for Megan, okay? And I do see a change in career come for her. Um, Megan is very talented. She's a very, very talented rapper, but that's not all she's talented within. I feel like she's. they keep linking me again to acting with her. I feel like she's a very talented actress. And I feel like she will get a lot of opportunities um, in that field. So um, what I really want to say here with this, because is coming through strongly in the cards is that you cannot hold her down and she is going to get up and she's going to show you and I feel like maybe they're drawing me back to the speech now maybe that's what she's going to say so she's going to say something in her Grammy Award acceptance speech like all of you thought this all of you she's going to be very aggressive she's going to address the room yeah she's going to say all of you for and she's going to address you know talking about to her peers because they've been less than supportive to her She's going to say, all of you weren't there, all of you thought this, all of you were saying that, look now, but, but, yeah, so she's going to be very, very much like that, and she's going to have every right to, and she's going to have every, you know, um, example of that, because she's going to have a very successful career. Now, the last two cards that kept flipping over when I pre-pulled for her is the Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups. Now, usually, I feel like this reading's backwards, because this is where she is right now. And the Nine of Swords talks about depression, suffering, sadness, and it's caused, as it's linked to, by a Page of Cups. Now, who else would be the Page of Cups? Of course, Tory Lanez. Yes, he has caused her distress, okay? He has caused her a lot of pain, a lot of anger, a lot of upset, okay? But let me tell you, she will overcome it. She'll overcome it. And I want to... The other card, which I'm surprised didn't come out here, but that kept flipping over for Megan was the Hermit card. Um, I don't want her to come completely out of the public eye, but I'd like her... She was doing the right thing by not saying anything, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, she deserves to speak, blah, blah, blah. Absolutely. But there's some healing that needs to be done spiritually, because this is a big traumatic event. And she's suffering. She's not just suffering physically from the wounds of the gunshot. She's suffering mentally as you would. PTSD is a real thing. And we need to send love and light to Megan because she needs healing. And she is kind of alone. And I do feel she's kind of ba abandoned. That's how she feels. 
and her heart's hurting you know my hands have just gone to my heart chakra you know her heart chakra feels very very fragile and vulnerable and I just want to wrap her up in some love um, so if we can send love and light to Megan I'd really appreciate that thank you but she will overcome this and like I said there is a successful career path awaiting her there's a successful relationship awaiting her because Megan isn't someone who wastes time like I said very intellectual very independent very much on the ball she doesn't play games she doesn't waste time which is why she got out of that car in the first place now a lot of women would have stayed probably stayed in the car and fought and you know stayed with toy lanes and been like ma, 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 I can change you I can fix you no Megan's like I don't want you like goodbye like you know she's very like cut offish you know she knows what she wants and that's why she got out of the car in the first place she's like goodbye bit goodbye bit you know she wasn't having any of that so she got out of the car and was like goodbye um so yeah I just want to pull some simple answers card for Megan just to see what you know spirit really want her to we pull, how many would we pull, Spirit? Two or three? Okay, made a mistake then. These cards are gone. Wow! <sighs> oh, <laughs> they gave me three. Okay, let go. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I think that says it all. Let go and flow. Take a breather. You are not afraid. I feel like there's going to come a point where Megan comes out and says, right, this is it now. I'm not talking about this again. I'm done with it. And she's going to move on with her life. And that's it. Tory Lanez is done, by the way. So I think, you know, he's done. Even if he... This, is, this, this isn't no Chris Brown situation, okay? This is no Chris Brown situation. Um, and I don't personally believe in cancel culture, but Tory Lanez is cancelled as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know a lot of other people are concerned, and if you want to give Tory Lanez a second chance, then I don't have a second chance or time for you. So, um, you know, Tory Lanez is done, um, and I feel like Megan's just going to go forward. Um, she's going to learn a lot from this. There's a lot she's going to learn from this, um, personally, within her own life, that she's going to be able to use to move forward. Take a breather, big one, same as the hermit. Not surprised to see it. Spirit want her to pull back just a little bit. Not with her career, just with her personal life. When I said she doesn't need to go out and talk about it now, she released those Instagram live videos. We don't need to hear anything else now, Megan. Just focus on yourself and focus on your healing and your growth. You are not afraid. This woman is going to show the biggest, utmost strength. You have to understand, can you imagine being shot by someone that probably a few hours earlier you were partying with was your friend. You know, that's a lot of trauma, okay? She is going to so, show the utmost strength. And I just have to applaud Megan because, like I say, I can see her future and her future looks bright. So you keep going, girl. You keep doing you. There's a bright future that lays ahead of her. There's a bright relationship that lays ahead of her. There's a bright career that la la lays ahead of her. And she is not defined by this situation. So that's it. Period. <laughs> So much love and light to Megan. Please leave a lovely thumbs up if you enjoyed this reading. Remember to subscribe to our lovely community if you'd like to see more videos like this because I upload them every single week. If you'd like to see more spiritual and psychic content, then you can just head over to my Instagram and follow me. It's at I am Kirsty Lewis. And if you like your own personal and private reading with me, you can email me at Kirsty Lewis Readings at Outlook.com for more information. Thank you all so, so much for your continuous love and support. I am so grateful. I mean that from the bottom of my heart for each and every single one of you. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye, lovelies.